We have an exciting opportunity that we'd like to bring to you today, and that's about a very early round investment opportunity in Pacific Frontier. We brought this company to you before, so in the description of this video, you'll see a much longer interview where it really goes over uh, with Joe Bleakley. He is the CEO of Pacific Frontier about the opportunity at hand, what it is they're looking to be doing, uh, some timelines, especially going over their management team. Who are they? What authority do they have to be in their positions? What have they done in the past? And all the information that uh, we believe you would need to know about a company that's soon to be going public. So one of the things that we want to be able to focus on today, though, is that early round. And in order to do that, we brought on Joe Bleakey to discuss exactly what that round is, what the use of funds are going to be for, and a little bit of an update on exactly what different properties are going to be looking into by the end of this year. So to do that, Joe, welcome back again. And thanks for having me, Brandon. Yeah, absolutely. Joe, look, uh, I appreciate your time very much because, you know, usually when you get a private placement and you just get this little white sheet of paper and just says, how many shares do you want? All this kind of stuff. We've always envisioned giving a little bit more where once again, you can look at the description of this video and you'll see the, the long form interview that we did with you, where we really went into detail about your company and everything, uh, all your management team and all of that. But this is a little bit about the raises coming up. So if you don't mind just taking a few minutes just to let uh, some investors understand you know, the, the demand for the RV industry, what's been happening in this last little bit, but more importantly, the capital raise that you're doing and what you're going to be using those funds for as well. So if you don't mind, uh, I'd love to hear a few answers from you there. Absolutely, for sure. I'll take you through that. So um, the company was founded last year based on solid industry stats. But what we've seen this year with 2020 and the pandemic is uh, tremendous demand put on the industry. Uh, we've seen travel, airline and border crossings, uh, international USA travels down 98%. Um, we don't know when borders are going to open up. We don't know when concerts or events are going to come back on. Uh, and we do know that provincial park use has been up, uh, up 200%, uh, as well as campground RV parks have been overbooked with waiting lists. Um, so we, we also have a huge problem this winter. We have 15,000 Canadians that live in their RVs over the winter, and they usually head south. They, if they're on the East Coast, they go down to Florida. On the West Coast, they'll go down to Mexico or Arizona, California. But uh, that's not happening this year. So... It's estimated there's only 3,000 suitable RV spots that are, are suitable for a winter stay in Canada. So we're not really sure how that's going to play out. But um, we do know that going into 2021, RV dealers are forecasting record sales already. And this is based on their pre-orders for next year. Um, Pacific Frontiers is wonderfully positioned to take advantage of this. We have three acquisitions in our pipeline. And um, we've got a pretty aggressive growth plan to, to acquire those and to upgrade those properties. The first property is in Agassiz, British Columbia. We're taking possession of that very shortly. It's just minutes from Harrison Hot Springs, a very popular tourist destination. And we've got a, a great upgrade, upgrade and renovation plan for it. There's going to be 50 amp power, swimming pools, Wi-Fi, everything the family needs. Uh, our second acquisition is in Parksville, British Columbia, and that's planned in a couple months from now. Again, there's going to be a swimming pool. Uh, there's already swimming at the river. It's just minutes from the ocean. It's going to have a store for the kids and 50 amp power for all the RVs. Uh, it's, a, it's a great offer. And our third location, which is also um, slated to take possession before the end of the year, is in the heart of the Fraser Valley. Um, with a very large tourist attraction close by. And that park specifically has already booked this winter 100% um, occupancy rates over the winter. So uh, yes, we do have an aggressive growth plan and that kind of takes me into the financing, which we have just opened a raise. Um, we are looking to raise $2.1 million and we're offering a seven cent common share of our company. The capital proceeds will go to acquisition and upgrade um, of the properties. And um, anyone who's interested, I would, I would um, encourage them to check out our website, www.pacificfrontier.co. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions if, if anybody wanted to reach out to me. Thanks again, Joe. Honestly, I, I appreciate this. Uh, again, we love hearing from executives, especially these early on companies where there's a lot of opportunity in these companies where this is 
a seed round investment well before the IPO. Uh, but obviously, that is the path in which you are going with your company. And as everyone was uh, had just heard as well, you can turn to the website, but you can also turn to the deal room over at Stockhouse as well. There's more information there that you can find out about the actual private placement and the documents and things like that. Uh, but Joe, I just want to say once again, thank you very much for taking your time for this. And look, we really look forward over the next uh, you know few months, continuing to cover your story and, and how everything's progressing. We'll have more in-depth interviews to come as well. But for anyone looking for information, you know where to turn now. So once again, thank you very much. Thanks.